Okay, let's go. Goal! Well, I probably should be filming. I haven't been. Done a lot of painting. And uh, it's January 14th today, so it's been a nice weekend working on my boat. I painted all the rails, all the uh, fencing, a light blue. I painted my trim dark blue, and now I'm working on my battery box. And I think it's looking pretty good. Check it out. Well, I got the dark blue on all the rails. I got a light blue on the fencing. It was dark green. Um, looks a little cotton candy right now, but when I'm done, it's gonna look pretty badass. Right here, it's gonna be where my batteries are, three batteries, one starter, two house. And uh, you know, guys like shiny stuff, so I had to get involved. And I'm gonna match that one over here. Well, that's it for today. Got it, got it going to storage. These are my little storage bins in the back. Batteries. Batteries go in here. And uh, yeah, more next week. Well, today's January 19th. I'm working on the uh, roof of my boat. I haven't gotten a lot of time to work on it. There's still a lot to do. I haven't even put the console in yet, but I want to get the roof on so that it's waterproof. Um, running out of money. <laughs> my wife and I had a discussion um, about it. Uh, dis discussion and uh, I got a I got a layoff spending so much on the boat so what I decided to do instead of building the roof out of aluminum is I'd use metal studs inch and five eighths ten foot long um, and I'm I'm just making trusses out of that found some 29 gauge roofing uh, that a guy will make it at a pretty good price for me so so I'm doing a budget it's still not super cheap to build one of these but um, it'll make my wife happy and, and it'll work good. It's going to be pretty functional. So I'll show you the trusses I'm doing right now. And, uh, probably the next video will be me assembling everything. Uh, not really set up to make a video today, but check it out. All right. So this is metal studs that I'm kind of bending to the shape I want. You can see there. And, uh, they're going to get a cap all along here, the track, and then an aluminum angle, and that's what the legs are going to mount to. And uh, I made a little jig here just to make sure everything lines up right. And uh, I have to make nine of these because my, my roof is going to be 15 feet long, which is uh, <laughs> probably the longest roof I've seen, at least the hard leads. All right. It's Saturday the 20th. I only got a little bit of time to work on it this morning, so I thought I would update you. So, the awning's going to be 15 foot long. I have whoop, aluminum channel, or aluminum L-metal, sorry, with the track right here. Studs come up. Do their little joists. I got a little strong back in the middle right now. That'll probably come off once the metal's on. Um, screwed together. This, this will be wood. I think it'll be stained blue, the same color as my console. This is the front. That'll be uh, covered with something pretty. And that's it, man. That's it's 15 foot long. It's going to fold down. It's pretty pretty flippy floppy, but uh, I think once the, once the metal's on, it'll tighten up. Hopefully, it'll handle a monsoon. <laughs> I got legs coming off of here, and they'll pivot on this L metal here. It is January 27th. I got a couple minutes to work on my boat. Got the top on here, but I gotta tell you, 
when I built the legs for the top, which I built first, I grossly underestimated the weight of this sheet metal. So the metal studs weigh almost nothing. The small amount of OSB I put on the end caps is nothing. But when I put the metal on, it got heavy. So the legs are right here. This is 16th inch, one by two. Bolts there. Ideally, it was just gonna lift right up. But when I did, this pussy bracket I built at a small angle was just flip flopping like this. The whole thing was probably gonna fall over. So we put it back down. I've ordered some substantial hardware and uh, aluminum like this. This is the new bracket material, 3 16 actually, sorry, quarter inch. That in the, in the, in the pieces I ordered, which is one and a half, one and a half, 3 16 tube steel, or tube aluminum, sorry, is gonna fit right in there and I'm gonna do, actually it's gonna sit like this and there's gonna be a half inch um, pin that goes all the way through and I'll have a little cotter over on this side. So, and, and I'm going to the ground instead of to the top rail, which is gonna make it much better. So I gotta wait a little while for all that material to come in. And since I was bored, I went ahead and did something fun. Put on my vinyl stickers. That's the desert scene in the back. And I got my, my cool mountains up front. Um, super cool thing. I think that looks really cool. So it kind of helps with that blue color that I painted it. A um, lot of work left to do. Once I get the roof done and uh, the brackets put in place that it's going to hold it at the elevation I need. Say I, I built a 52 inch console, so I can't let the roof get this low. It's or it would hit the console. So I'm going to have to build support brackets here and here. So when the whole thing folds down, they stop before it hits the console. And that's part of what I'm doing next week. Hopefully all next weekend. So, and once that's done, I can put the console in, then I can start wiring stuff up and get on with the really fun stuff. All right, more later. Check these guys out. While I'm working on my boat, Eric, Ricky, and Jeremy, they're out killing it in winter uh, flathead fishing on Bartlett Lake. This is what I'm missing out on. Ugh, it's killing me. Little fat guy. Damn. Back to the depths. Yes, sir. Got me a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's go.